Ahoy hoy and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we're going to talk about SCP-001 proposals. Nope, wait, hold on. I'm back, bitches. I got a new camera set up, I got new lighting, uh, the disaster that happened about a year and a half ago kind of knocked me out of being able to do videos on the schedule that I wanted to be able to do them on. So it's nice to be able to get back into making the kind of videos that I want to make, which is the a little mixture. I don't mind having, you know, some stuff that's off screen, but I'd like to be able to talk to you directly, right? That's the video that I want to create. And while that camera is expensive, it is actually actively worse than the camera I was using last year, but the camera I was using last year is broken. So we got to work with what we got anyway. Now we're going to talk about the topic that I've wanted to talk about for a little while now, and that's 001 proposals. Um, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I just wrote one. And I've gone on the record in the past saying that 001s have gone down in quality over the years. And I think that's dishonest, but I'll talk more about why later. First, I want to talk to you about what an 001 proposal actually is with regards to the SCP Wiki. So let's get dive into that. So on the SCP wiki itself, there are a number of 001 proposals. What that means is that there are alternate versions of what 001 is. Early on in the site's history, it was sort of decided that 001 wasn't going to be one article because it was going to be the most important article on the site. So it needed to be something special about it. And I also think that the authors at the time who also ran the site just wanted to be able to create their own versions of it, you know, like being locked out of creating your own uh, version of the most important article on the site isn't necessarily something that they enjoyed. So they set up some policies that made it so that there were a bunch of different SCP-01 ones in universe. The idea is that it obfuscates what the real SCP-01 is because it's important that no one knows. And if we'd retained just a few 001 articles in the beginning, that would be fine. But we didn't. What we ended up doing was just keep go. We kept going and going and going. This is something that's always going to happen in any sort of collaborative writing uh, environment. And that's that people want to contribute. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if you open up 001s as the most important thing on the site, then every author who gets to a certain level of popularity is going to say, I need to write my version of an 001. And when I first joined the site, there were six. That was back in 2012. I, I want to say it was around six. When I came back in 2014, no new articles had been written that were 001s, unless my memory is just really off. <laughs> But by the end of Series 3, which is the series I really got into the wiki on, I had seen that there were about four more. So we ended up with about 10 or 11. The exact number is a little uh, a little harder to understand because one of them is like a multi-part one that continues across multiple series. Which is also why 48 as a number is accurate and also can be un unaccurate, inaccurate. Uh it's not a huge deal one way or the other. The important part is that there's nearly 50, right? Let's just say nearly 50. And if you include the joke articles, there's nearly 60, um, which I don't know that we should for this particular topic, but it's, it's if I don't, someone in the comments is going to be, no, 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 there's 60 of them. Uh, so we're just going to give some uh, basic sort of like acknowledgement to that and then move on. And it, that's my fault, by the way. You don't make a uh, reputation as the you're wrong about this guy without uh, accepting that people are going to try and correct you in the comments. There's nothing wrong with that. But back in series one, there was these great, huge authors, right? The important people on the wiki writing these 001 proposals. You get Clef and Swan and Man and Gears and others. And these people were important to the wiki and wrote these 001s, and they felt impactful, even if they weren't that good, because of who was writing them, and who those people being so important to the history, and at the time, even the current, like, contemporary writing of the wiki. So, the, the lower number gave them a level of importance that they no longer really possess, because today, you expect any author, uh, could write an 001, which is great, actually. Like, <laughs> some of these problems are problems, yes, but they also 
have benefits. And that's that, you know, any author on the SCP wiki who gets to a certain level of success, even before a certain level of success, can create an 001, make this huge, impactful, maybe sometimes magnum opus, not always magnum opus, but an important article. Of course, and the raw article count of the wiki itself outside of 001s has increased. And that increase has accelerated over time to the point where, um, I think it's kind of ridiculous whenever anyone goes that when everyone says that the SCP wiki is dying, uh, despite the fact that we you know we have unique millions of unique visitors per month. And also in the seven K contest, we had 140 entries. So 14% of that series was filled up before the series was even open. And it's only been a year and a half and we're done with series uh, seven and starting on series eight very soon. We've already got the 8K contest going. I'd like to say something that kind of semi-corrects some statements I've made in the past about 01s. And that's that I do genuinely believe that an 01 represents a higher level of quality and effort and uh, creativity than the average site article. But I still hold to the idea that the higher the number goes, the closer to the site average in quality, the number, the not the number, but the articles are going to be. If you increase the number of SCP-001 articles necessarily because of how maths and averages work, the average quality is going to approach the average quality of the site. Now, will it ever hit it? Probably not, because we hold those to a higher standard, both in the creation and in the evaluation of them. So if they're not amazing, they don't survive on the SCP Wiki as easily. But because of, again, how numbers and math work, it's going to start approaching a the quality is going to cl the if it was low below average, it's going to approach average. If it's above average, it's going to approach average. That's just how it works. So I no longer think of an 001 as the crowning achievement of an SCP author. I just think of it as something that everyone does at some point, um, like an author page, which doesn't even have a, doesn't even have to have a rating module. But with all of this said, you might ask yourself reasonably. Why in the world, if I think this is a problem and that contributing to it is contributing to the problem, would I write an SCP-001? And the truth of the matter is, I decided that, one, I'm not better than anybody else. <laughs> Just because I believe what I believe doesn't mean I get to pretend the world actually is the way I want it to be. Uh, you live in the world you have, not in the world you want. And the world I have is one where everybody writes an 001 at some point. So I wrote an 001 and I added to the problem because there are benefits too. I mean, you know, I think the 001 I posted would have worked fine in a regular slot. I think it also works as an 001 and it is of the right quality and I don't know, level of importance that I expect out of an 001. But we're going to let that be my segue into <laughs> promoting my newest article, my newest SCP article on the site. At least I have a tale that I wrote since then, but too, but we're not worried about that. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about it. And I'll tell you that there is a link in the description below that you can go to. It'll be at the very near the very top of the description. Um, but yeah, it is an 001. It is a uh, twine game. So a choose your own adventure game that you can click through. Um, and I put a lot of work and effort into it. There's music, there's voice acting. It's, I feel like a lot of fun and you can click through on my description and you can, uh, evaluate it for yourself and help me contribute to the problem of the SCP wikis, uh, too many 001s problem. <laughs> I like to say in the story, the SCP Foundation is taking its first steps towards containing the rest of the galaxy. Uh, and in that effort, they run into what could possibly be the biggest threat they've ever encountered. And also there are severed heads. Because why not? The link again will be in the description and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. Nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Tuesday. I swear to God. <laughs>